CPAC chairman and Republican strategist Matt Schlapp. All right. Good evening, Matt. I just uh, finished speaking with uh, Governor Mike Huckabee, and uh, we kind of put to rest that whole idea that Donald Trump is this thin-skinned individual, uh, given the fact that he's bringing in people like Mitt Romney and uh, Nikki Haley uh, Trump Tower the other day, uh, and, uh, you know, bringing in people who are rather critical, to say the least, of him. Now, there is also this rumor that, you know, Donald, uh, the president-elect, only wants yes people around him in the cabinet. That's right. What's your take on that argument? Boy, when I see Mike Flynn, Mike Pompeo, Jeff Sessions, these are people of strong character, strong-willed, opinionated, experienced. They are going to push back on things they don't believe in. Mike Flynn was fired because he pushed back so aggressively. I know Mike Pompeo personally. He's a personal friend. He's my hometown congressman. This is a brilliant guy, first in his class at West Point, uh, went to Harvard uh, and he's a real strong-willed guy. I mean, Donald Trump is putting together so far uh, a very impressive group of guys together. Okay, so we know uh, Pompeo is a brilliant, you know, Harvard, number one at West Point, you know, in Congress, sat on Slug Committee on Benghazi. He's been on Justice many times. Uh, uh, we, love, we love him. We think he's great. Uh, and, and Flynn, also a, a straight shooter, a, a tough talker. Uh, and then, but let's talk about Sessions. Now, Sessions also is someone, uh, in, in the attorney general candidate, a Senate confirmation. Uh, there was some pushback. You know, it seems like every day they push back on somebody and then it goes away to the next guy that, you know, it's just like the crybabies who can't get over the election or like, you know, right. let's push back on the next guy and see if that sticks. So Sessions is this incredible uh, uh, background in terms of former United States attorney, world class legal mind. Uh, and for all the criticism of him, uh, while he was a host of while he was United States attorney, he filed a host of desegregation lawsuits in Alabama. Right. Right. that goes right against things that people are saying about him. Yeah, and I also think, Judge, this whole question about bringing up race over and over again, I actually think the American people are quite exhausted uh, from all this. I know uh, Jeff Sessions, uh, he, you know, he failed to be confirmed when he's put up right. to be a federal, a federal judge, federal but judge. But that was all politics. It was all politics. And I think he's going to be just fine with his colleagues in the United States Senate. And he's going to be a very bold attorney general. I'm very pleased he's going to be there. And you know what amazes me? For all the talk of, of racism, and it infuriates me because stuff that isn't true, when it gets into the media, Senator Sessions voted in favor of the 30-year extension of the Civil Rights Act. That's right. Um, and he, you know, filed the desegregation lawsuits in Alabama. Uh, and also, uh, he campaigned against George Wallace. Uh, he spearheaded the effort to award the Congressional Gold Medal to Rosa Parks, an Alabama native in civil rights. I, I mean, come on. And it's he prosecuted the head of the KKK. I mean, let's, uh, let's get the facts out on the table. And when the American people hear the facts, he will be confirmed. And the important thing is, is Donald Trump will have someone at the Department of Justice who will follow the law. It's the first time in eight years uh, in every case. <laughs> oh, you mean and when Loretta Lynch met Bill Clinton on the tarmac? That really was the, an accident? There will be no secret meetings uh, in the backs of planes uh, with Jeff Sessions as <laughs> Attorney General Judge. Yeah, he is a, uh, he's a very uh, uh, smart, ethical, ethical man. And finally, uh, have you heard anything about this General Mattis? I just, everything I've heard is wonderful, that he is a great leader, that he's probably exactly what we need at the Department of Defense. And once again, he is no shrinking violet. Uh, he is somebody who I think will stand up uh, and give the president straight advice. And look, in the times we're in uh, overseas, with what we face, the threats with terrorism and everything, and, and Russia and China, we need a we need a war cabinet that's ready to defend American right. interests, and I think that's what he's putting together. And I spoke with my good friend Colonel Hunt, and he said to me that he worked with Mattis, and he said his nickname is Mad Dog Mattis. <laughs> I like him already. Matt Slapp, I think the thanks for being with us. The terrorists would love it too, Judge. Yeah, I hope so. Thanksgiving Street Justice style still.